open browser and google type mysql download open first link mysql download down mysql community downloads click on mysql installer for windows Click on Windows MySQL Installer Community. So bottom one. Click on bottom one. Download. Bottom. No then just start my download. It is downloading. MySQL installer community 8.0.40 After downloading Open or install MySQL server, server. Now download is complete open file click on open file ok so my scale installer Choose a setup type custom. Click on next. Now select the available products. First one is MySQL Server 8.0. Right click on green button. Right arrow green button. Next one MySQL Workbench. right arrow for right arrow for what page mysql shell for right arrow select the products to be installed click on next Select one of the product MySQL Server. Click on Execute. It loads the redistributed Microsoft Visual C++ redistributed files. Some systems require Microsoft Visual C++ redistributed files. For this, you can agree check. Install for Microsoft Visual C++ redistribute. After the successfully installed redistributed file, close the pop-up window. Click Next.
click on next click on execute now it is installing mysql server 8.0.4 after that mysql workbench Finally, MySQL shell is ready to installing. Here, MySQL server is database server in your local computer. MySQL workbench is a GUI interface to connect MySQL server. MySQL shell is command line interface to connect MySQL server. For this, Windows 10 and 11 users. After completing MySQL shell, is in progress so now installation is completed for these three product click on next click on next for country now it is port number mysql server is running in your local computer port number 3306 C port number by default port number if you want you can change so don't change so click on next and give the password mysql root password user is root the password is 1234 here I am giving my own password but you give 1234 for your password MySQL root password and retype password are both the same. So now depends on password, it gives strength, password strength weak. So now you are it is in local computer, don't worry, click on next. So again click on next. It is window, it is configuring uh, configure on the Windows service, click on next. it is click on next now click on execute it configure the your base line your setting it configure the files step by step so click finish successfully page mysql server is successfully Click on finish and click on next. So finish. 
so my shell shell window is open and again my shell lock pin is open automatically so now go to open my shell lock pin you the root password one two three four click on save password in your local system wallet within wallet means within local system. once you connected in your root user to local database close this one Again, you can close the MySQL shell. After closing this window, you can give the path whether the MySQL is executed in command prompt. We check MySQL is not recognized. For this, you can set the path for MySQL server. So go to my program files. So see MySQL. MySQL server and bin. You can click on the address bar to copy the path. So copy or control C and you can in search window edit the type the edit the system environment variables. Edit. System environment variable open in advanced tab. Okay. Environment variable open the environment variables. Select path and click on edit. And click for new. Edit environment variable. Click for new. You can paste control V whatever path you are copied. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. So now you can go to command prompt. You can check MySQL is working is or not through the command prompt. So now MySQL version 8.0 for recognize. Okay. So connect the MySQL using command prompt. MySQL dash space dash u root dash p and enter enter your password 1234. So now my after that MySQL is connected show databases semicolon enter so exit. So now